back to another video today we have a 12 pro max and the face id is uh, not working so what we're going to be doing today is we have a jcid 12 pro max face id tag on repair fpsc tag on flex that we're going to use to repair this face id today so without further ado let's get straight into the video Get things started those two bottom screws as always the two pentalope screws get removed and then of course we need to remove the screen from the housing of the phone using a blade in a screen disassembly tool we can easily lift the screen off the housing once we have it open it's obviously just the screws for the brackets holding down uh, the battery connector display connector and of course the earpiece connector so once we have those all removed, we can then move over to the camera. Being very careful, we want to unplug the camera connectors. And once those connectors are then unplugged, we want to kind of jimmy the camera out just ever so slightly, not to damage anything. We can just rest that aside. It does help to use some anti static uh, tape around the camera to avoid any dust or damage happening to the camera itself. And then we just want to connect the camera to the programmer. A few things you'll need to, to have ready. A uh, programmer will need to be connected to a internet connection. Uh, it also needs to be connected to the phone. Uh, as you can see here, it's not connected. It needs to be the original face ID and needs to be a good voltage going to the actual programmer as well. To this, will then, Once all these are done, it will then allow you to activate the face ID on the camera. During this process, the data from the face ID that is stored on the phone, but also the face ID on the camera will be stored onto the programmer. So when it's completed and activated, it will store a copy that we can then use to burn onto this new tag on flex that we have from JCID. This process is kind of like burning um, let's say data onto like a CD to play music or movies so that's what it kind of resembles so but once the data has been burnt onto this tag on flex we then want to connect it back to the original camera and then we can plug that back into the phone now I do advise to go onto the JCID um, YouTube channel um, there's tutorials on how to like properly assemble the face ID and the tag on flex together on this video it would just take too long for me to show you exactly how to kind of bend the cable into place and stuff like that so check out the YouTube channel it's exactly for whatever device you're looking for uh, and how to basically uh, put it into the phone you may need to set up a new face but at least it works as you can see here it's a bit yellow because of the tape that I have on the camera and then after I've removed it, I'm just gonna put in that uh, plate. Like I said, guys, you will need to check out uh, the JCID uh, page or the YouTube channel to see exactly how the camera and the tag flex go back into your phone. I know for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, some modifications will need to be done to the plate to be able to put it back in. So guys, check out the JCID um, YouTube channel for that. And after you know it's all plugged in, we just want to screw everything back, and then we just want to test it for ourselves to see if the finished product works. Okay, so as you can see here, after moving the tape, I can then set up my face after I close the phone. 
works just like it was brand new now so guys that's how you fix face id on uh, the 12 pro max i will do more videos on different phones but just to show you guys it works my face is not registered and it can be unlocked so thanks for watching guys leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for more